What's good everyone? Look wise man here. We look quite the compressor room this morning. Wow. But I turn off the system. I'd stench it down to only one compressor running around three o'clock, then right before the last person left, I had her turn off the last compressor. Probably about nine o'clock last night. Usually around 17, 18 in the morning up to 29 already so ice is coming out it's gonna show you the little shutdown right here so first thing we do basically you leave the brine pump running friction from the the pump as well as the brine coming through the chiller there it will heat up the brine or heat up the concrete and help melt the ice i'm gonna go open some doors here in a minute i still have to pump out all the refrigerant from the system into the receiver what i'm gonna do here real quick is turn one compressor on Turn the liquid line solenoid off. That closes the valve, and that will allow the system basically to pump all the refrigerant into the receiver, which is right here. Then the system will shut off. Then I go under there and turn the valve off, and uh, I got the condenser water pump still going. I could turn the fans off because those are not going to kick on. Um, heat recovery. I'm going to leave that on just for a minute until the compressors turn off as well as the um i guess if one i'll turn one fan on just in case while we're pumping let's go ahead and pump down the system we'll turn on the first cpu stage number one right here make sure this liquid line solenoid is off and it'll probably take like 10 minutes to, to pump her down so we'll come back here and check it out here in a few minutes all right i took about I don't know, five minutes. I need to get a good angle in here where I'm not gonna get wet. It's this valve right here, I just need to turn this thing closed. All right. Kick the fan off. Condenser water pump is off. We'll have to go drain the condenser. Also gotta turn off the water to the condenser outside. Heat recovery pump. Um, yeah, I'll turn that off. Only thing that's running right here is the brine pump, and I'm gonna, I'm, oh God, we're gonna clean this up here a little bit. This is getting a little bit too much for me here. Getting a little bit too busy for me. And let's go ahead and kick on the sub floor heat pump here. And basically what we're gonna do is up one up all the doors in the rink. We'll make sure the vents are running. Dimmer fire is going. We don't really wanna turn it off because we wanna get the moisture out of the building still. She's gonna be working hard. So what we're basically going to do here is it's going to take a couple days for the ice to melt and we don't have a any kind of I don't know bulldozer or anything bucket excavator or whatever you want to call it um, and we've done that in the past the first two times I was here when I first started and they did use a, a bulldozer and stuff but that was a lot of work man and a couple times we just had piles of ice here and pile of ice out the door you know everywhere and yeah it took us a couple days we had three guys with one one machine so what do you you know what do you do you know <laughs> so uh, so what i've done the last i guess three four times we put the ice in because i guess we only put the ice in once every four years i've been here 20 years you know like i'm not going to say i'm an expert of putting the ice in or taking the ice out and putting it in we're gonna see how i do it then as soon as melt i have some squeegees i made and i kept they're basically rink board that are about so they vary because they're about to scrap we'll just squeegee all this water out of here in five hours it's gonna take as soon as it's melted and throughout the week as it melts we'll chip here and there and get some channels going and kind of slowly push the water out but as soon as it's all melted it takes it doesn't take very long and the water will stay in the rink when we put the ice in, we caulk all the the edges. We kind of have to because there's huge gaps between the bottom, the kick strip, and the concrete. So we put a bead of caulk all the way around the rink when we install the ice in. So, and that's how the rink is built and stuff. It's the water stays in pretty good. It's all going to flow out this way to threshold when I get the ice all melted and everything. So, all right, the system's been off for about five hours. Brine pump. The temperature of the brine is up to 31 degrees. The rink is starting to sweat. Nice sunny day here. Started off pretty cold, but now it's getting a little bit warm. 
As you can see, it's starting to sweat a little bit out there. What I did earlier is I went out with the machine, did a, I edged around the rink twice, then I basically did a full cut, then I went through and did dump my snow, then I did basically cross cuts on this side, cross cuts on that side, dumped the snow, came out and did figure eights on this side, figure eights the other side, dumped the snow, came out and did cross cuts and cross cuts, then dumped the snow, and that's kind of where I'm at right now. So, and that was probably, I started 8, 8.15 probably, is when I started the ice maintenance and that took, you know, it didn't take very long to do all that. So after I let it sit for a while, I can see it's wet. So I'm gonna come out with the machine, do a few more scrapes with the machine. I don't wanna overburden the machine with too many ice scrapes. I don't, I don't know. I just do wanna rely on the machine solely to remove the sheet of ice. So I think that's a lot of wear on the machine. I don't really wanna do. Like I said, we're gonna pull this threshold out probably tomorrow and let all the water just kind of start melting out. We'll break it up and Break it little channels up as it starts to melt and kind of push the water out and hopefully by Friday everything will be melted enough just to start pushing the water out. If not, I think we're probably shooting for Monday. All right, here we are about eight hours after shutdown. Actually, we shut it down late last night, so we're probably a good eight plus, I don't know, another eight hours, 16 hours into the shutdown. Got a lot of the ice out. I forgot how many loads I did. 10, 12 loads. I didn't want to do too many in the machine. I kind of spread them out. Tomorrow, I'll probably go maybe a little bit heavier. Hopefully, I'll get another fresh blade put on it. Didn't have any ready at the shop for me, so hopefully they'll have one ready for me tomorrow. As you can see right here, here's a little bit, you can see a little bit of the concrete through there. I bet there's like uh, five eighths, five eighths of an inch of ice here. It's looking pretty good. So right here, you can see that we do have a mesh logo. So I may shave down a little bit more over here in the creases. Then I'll come out with the chipper and just kind of bang out this whole area chip it all out kind of carefully not to damage the logo actually I don't think we're putting this logo back in from my winter stand we're gonna switch logos I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get the logo here in time the mesh logo for the new design but I don't think we're gonna use this one but we'll take it out carefully in any event as well as I get some new creases on the way too but I still don't want to damage the creases I'm gonna save them just in case you can see here this logo right here is pretty old so you could almost start yeah I can starting to come up right there just a little bit so a little uneven concrete so the logo doesn't sit terribly level but overall pretty good so good first day of work not terribly exciting other than having to shut down i think that's the most exciting part so i'm not sure if i'm going to do a daily video or a weekly video i've been usually throwing videos up once a week so maybe i'll do a daily video on the progress of what's going on here until we get to a certain point then just kind of go with the flow like we've been doing here. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. As always, I hope you learned something. And like the local ice man says, stay cool.